Hello guys, in this Linux tutorial we are going to talk about the ls command. And the ls command is used for listing directory contents. So if I type in ls and press enter, it lists the contents of my current working directory. And to remind ourselves, the current working directory or just working directory is the directory I am currently located in. Now, there's a couple of interesting options to the ls command. The first one is the so-called l option or more long form said it is the long option. Okay. And basically when I press enter, that is going to give me a lot of information about the directories and the files within this directory. So what I am actually getting here is first we have file permissions and you shouldn't worry about any of these columns. I'm just telling you what they mean, but we are going to cover them later on in this tu tutorial series. So again, don't really worry that much about, uh, about uh, all of them. We will cover them later on, okay? So the first one is permissions. The second one is number of links. The third one is the owner of the file. The fourth one is the group of which the file or the directory belongs to. Fifth one is the file or directory size. This is the modification date when the directory was last modified or when the file was last modified. And this is the name of the directory. Okay, then we also have another useful option, which is LSA. And basically the A option, which is a short option, is uh, used to display hidden files and hidden directories. And you will recognize hidden files and hidden directories because they have a dot in front of their name and they are by default hidden. You can also combine options such as LSLA to get the long listing and to also list the hidden files and directories. And by the way, directories are in this bluish color and files are in just this black color. So that's how you will dis distinguish between the two. And also the last thing I wanna talk about with the ls command is you can actually use the ls command to look at a particular file. So if I wanted to just look at, for example, this file, which is tutorial, if I just wanted to look at that file, I, what I could do is I could write ls l because I wanted to see its permissions, its last modification date, etc., And then I could supply that file as an argument. And when I press enter, I get all of the information, but just for the file tutorial. Okay, and I usually don't use this command quite often. I usually use it, uh, and by it, I mean the ls command. I usually use it without any arguments because I just want to see the contents of the directory. But again, it's up to you to decide how you will use the command, okay? So uh, again, I haven't used it this much. Uh, I haven't used the ls command that much for particular files, but for listing directory contents, I have used it for that extensively. Okay, so that's it for this tutorial. Hope you learned something useful and I will see you in the next tutorial. Talk soon.